We like to think local, and when we think local, we're going to think local books and local authors. Tonight, we're at the Brent Lewis book signing for his new book, Bloody Point 1976. There's a nice crowd here down at Kent Narrows. Brent signing books, he'll have a few words to say, and we encourage everybody to support our local authors. Go out and buy Brent's book, and it's going to be a fun night, and it's a great read. I'm here with the better half of Brent Lewis. Thanks for joining us because you're counting all the money and keeping Brent out of trouble, right? I am. I try. Now tell it's me, what, how did this book come about? Do you know? You know, Brent has um, been writing for a long time. He's been doing the oral histories for the Heritage Society. Um, he's always been very creative. Um, and, you know, I really think that he's been thinking about this for years. Um, he he actually, wanted to do fiction, right? Yes, yeah. he definitely wants to do fiction. You know, this um, to me is, um, I think anybody that reads it, of course it's a little mature audience. Let me just say that. He, he said that in yes. an earlier interview. Yes. Um, but I mean, it's Baltimore, it's, it's the Baltimore, uh, East block, East and all types of good stuff. It's 1976 during the bicentennial weekend. And the country um, was just getting out of Vietnam, all types of changes, it, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. It was right after um, some local things happened here that really made you know that you were, you know, uh, connected to the Western Shore. Sure. Um, and this is very, to me, it's, it's been a while in process, but it's great. I, I, I can say that this is a really good book. Great. He has two other um, ideas in, in the works. That will be episodes after episodes this. Episodes after that. He actually has a little short uh, novella that um, is, um, I think, really going to, um, people are really going to like it. And we're trying to decide when we're going to throw that out. So. Now, our fingers are crossed. I see HBO series. What do you think? Awesome. I'll be I, good, I okay? You. Yes, Thank definitely. you for letting us steal you away from Terry. <laughs> right. Good luck with the book, all Thank right? Thank you very okay. much. Every book signing has something unique. Of course, there's the book. There's a crowd. Brent Lewis, at his book signing, is having specialty drinks. And he has things called Bloody Point Orange Crush, of course, the title of the book. Kent Island Colada. 1976 Spike Palmer and the Lewis Lemon Crush, which I can tell you noted author and celeb Mr. Strait recommends 100%. Now, we're with Arthur Brent Lewis, all right, who's a Ken Island native. Now, Brent, yeah, this is our first book signing I've ever been to. There's good people, a lot of good drinks, and it looks like you sold a lot of books. We've done very well. I've got a lot of support from the community, and I certainly appreciate it. Now, Brent, tell us about the new book. Remind everybody about Bloody Point 1976. Bloody Point is my first novel. It uh, takes place over the 4th of July weekend in 1976, the bicentennial weekend. It's about a local waterman, young guy, who's hired uh, to go to the block in Baltimore and bring home a rich man's daughter. And this, uh, this is local Eastern Shore hero. Uh, yes. Goes to rescue a maiden in distress in Baltimore. And we're talking the block, Blaze Star, and all that good stuff. Something like that, absolutely. This he's a, uh, uh, It's a story of change and growth. So he's a young guy, young naive guy in the beginning and uh, faces a lot of challenges that uh, goes puts them through a lot of changes. And it's a kind of a metaphor also, you tell me if I'm correct, about the country, the changing America 1976, post-Vietnam, post the 60s confusion and chaos, which might have been fun, but it was, it was a challenging time for America. Absolutely. Uh, the 70s, uh, I think people think of the 50s and 50s being just kind of plain and the 60s uh, uh, turmoil, but the 70s were uh, almost a more subtle change. People were, you know, like you said, they uh, had gone through Vietnam and Watergate and they'd kind of lost faith in a lot of, uh, of public uh, uh, institutions. America was confused. They were confused. confused. America was confused. That's a real good way to put it. And, and um, the characters in the book are looking to find themselves. And the uh, protagonist or the hero of the book is someone the Eastern Shore people can easily identify with, correct? I hope so. He's, okay. uh, he's a waterman. Uh, it uh, takes place in July, so he's crabbing at the time that it starts. Uh, he comes from a long line of uh, watermen. His, uh, the, another character is his grandfather, and his grandfather uh, taught him everything he knew about working the water. Now, my noted literary critic, Jeff Strait, 
says not only is the read great, but the cover is great. Absolutely. And you did a great job with the cover of the artist who did it, okay? Uh, yeah, Laura Ambler from Easton is um, a friend of mine, another writer, but she's also a very talented graphic artist. Well, look, best of luck with this, and if the book sales are as good as this party, you're going to be a millionaire. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, all the writers here locally appreciate your support and the support of uh, QAC TV. Well, we appreciate it. Good luck with the book says. And when it makes HBO, remember us. Uh, remember thanks us. for coming out, man. Right, thanks. Hi, I'm Fred McNear. We'd like to thank you for watching QAC TV today. We were at Brent Lewis's book signing for his new book, Bloody Point 1976. We're at a beautiful setting, and if you need a great summer read, Brent Lewis and the author to go to. I'm Fred McNeil, my time's up. Thank you for your time, and we're gonna see you next time.